Hello, YouTubers. This is Joe Bravo and Mo Bravo Knife Reviews. And today I want to say don't do drugs because just like front flippers, it is addicting. Uh, about a month ago, I didn't have any front flippers. Uh, now I have uh, the three on the board that you see here. And I have a fourth one I am going to pull out. Um, it, I, South African customs are out of control. I don't even have room on the board. Uh, there's my burger, uh, Atlas. And man, I am having a blast with these South African knives and these South African knife makers. Uh, all five knives that you see before you are bearing operated knives uh the only one that is not a front flipper is my Boudica uh traditional flipper by anton knives with the cracked ice nebula blade and man i just love this thing it's got such a sweet action it's just oh i love it i really do but I'm going to put him away because, geez, am I really enjoying these front flippers. Uh, if you haven't watched the channel, this is a Trevor Berger Atlas SFL slab frame lock. Uh, I had the Shamwary uh, by Gareth Bull and Jason Bull on here last week. Uh, and I paired that up against my frame lock full size stealth. Boudica from Anton Knives, and today I received my uh, Gareth and Jason Bull Shamwary, uh, but this one is a plain Jane iteration, and it is a frame lock, and I was very interested to see uh, what I would think of a frame lock uh, after having the Boudica be as I guess uh, firm of a detent with a large, heavy blade. Uh, and I'm going to be honest, this, this knife's nice, uh, but I would definitely take the Boudica over a uh, plain Jane Shamwary. Uh, this is on bearings. It's 3.3 inches. Uh, I got it from my buddy Brandon. It is in fantastic fantastic shape uh, but i think the problem lies in its size as a frame lock for my hands uh i find that the shamwary liner lock allows me to pretend that i am lighting a lighter uh, you don't have to even put pressure on it as you hold it in the hand and because of that, the smoothness to operate this knife, it's stupid. It is stupid. It is stupid. It is stupid. It's got a firm detent, but you don't need to put downward pressure to engage the jimping to flick the knife and get it to release. And it's really something special. Um, the burger is a little bit similar to that as well uh, i was really getting the hang of this while i was doing the video last week uh, if you put the pad of your thumb up at the top here and roll it over while you're not riding the frame lock it is very easy to manipulate uh, but it doesn't drop shut like the sham weary does and uh, if i kept this a little longer I try and put uh, some skiff bearings in there and see if I can adjust the detent down to be a little looser. I don't know if I want to mess with it because I'd like to uh, swap it out and find something else to compare against these two monsters down here. Uh, but man, I am overly, overly impressed with the action on the Boudica and the liner lock sham. Now, I'm just going to tell you, the weight of this knife allows it to sit in the palm swell. Uh, 
And the location in the curved pocket clip really gives me something to hold on to as a fulcrum against the knife blade as I'm deploying the detent. It's almost like I'm pulling and pushing at the same time. And with that, the blade itself is acting uh, uh, you know, against those forces and it flies open. And the sham is kind of similar because of the placement of the pocket clip. But it's also specific to the fact that there's no frame lock to ride. And I'm telling you, I just can't get over how much I'm enjoying the sham. Especially since I had the sham weary, which again was a frame lock. Uh, you know, if I didn't try a liner lock first, I probably wouldn't have been impressed with the sham weary. Uh, you know, I would have said it's nice. I don't think it was going to be anything that wowed me, but, uh, man, this liner lock is out of control. It's perfect. I love it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how else to say if you can get your hands on one, uh, you should. Um, you know, it's, uh, a lot of fun doing this channel. It is a lot of fun getting to handle these knives and uh, i hope everybody understands that these are just my opinions uh, i love sharing the knives with you um and uh yeah i really appreciate everybody liking commenting and subscribing uh, i know it's a little bit of a dull video but uh it definitely needs to be a public service announcement um be careful with front flippers because uh yeah they're addicting and you know it's not a front flipper a Roosevelt. No freaking way. No way. There's just no moment. There's no pivot for that bad boy to swing out. So uh, what's interesting is I have a frame lock accent incoming this week. So I'd like to see if I can front flip that. Uh, before I got into front flipping, I had accents and I don't think I even tried because I was so miserable at it. You know, now, you know, I'm a glutton for punishment. I've got a frame lock coming in, so I'm even going to struggle even more. But uh, I'm very much looking forward to the opportunity to try and that guy out. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So I hope everybody has a wonderful week. Thank you for watching. And, and uh, I'm very excited to hear how my voice sounds through my Bluetooth headset. I figured out that if you use Camera Pro or Video Pro on the Android camera an operating system, uh, you could deploy your audio through the headset. So if uh, it sounds better, let me know. And uh, hopefully now when I walk around my room, it doesn't get all distant like it was prior. So thanks, guys. Have a great week, and uh, talk to you later.